Hi there, it's Chris Mason here from holidayloop.co.uk. I'm going to read you an article uh, from our animated library, and today's article is Great Britain, Food and Drink. UK restaurants offer a wide diversity of cuisine from all over the world, but why not try some local dishes during your stay? Traditional British food usually involves good plain cooking with fresh local ingredients and is often found in pubs or in restaurants which offer lighter versions of old favourites. Roast beef served with Yorkshire pudding or local specialities such as Lincolnshire or Cumberland pork sausage can be found on most menus. In the north, black pudding made with offal is popular and lamb and chicken dishes feature on many menus along with hearty meat pies and homemade soups. Meals are usually served with chips, mash, boiled or roast potatoes and a good selection of vegetables. Whitby on the east coast is famous for its crabs and the south east coast is renowned for its mussels, whelks, cockles and jelly deals. In Britain you're never far from a fish and chip shop selling battered cod or haddock with chips sprinkled with salt and vinegar. Traditional puddings include fruit crumbles, apple pie or sponge pudding usually served with custard. Afternoon tea is still popular and you'll find a good selection of cakes, scones, jam and cream and sandwiches on a tea shop menu. Cheese is a great regional speciality. Look out for different varieties at delicatessens and farmers markets. There are some excellent award-winning white English wines such as those produced by Three Choirs in Gloucestershire and Wickham in Hampshire. A good selection of real ales is served in many pubs. Look out for local microbreweries. Mild, such as Banks Holdens and Highgate, is most often found in the Midlands. Pale ales are more popular, and Timothy Taylor, Adnams, and Shepherd Neem and Marstons have good examples. Cider is still a favourite, particularly in the southwest of England, like Thatcher's in Somerset. Traditional dishes in Wales include Welsh lamb hot pot and cool meat stew made with potatoes and vegetables. Fish is popular and other dishes such as Welsh rarebit, melted cheese on toast and lava bread made from oatmeal and seaweed. There are plenty of local cheeses to sample such as Care Philly and Pencar Egg. Try Barra Brith, a type of tea loaf and Welsh cakes, flat scones cooked on a griddle. Look out for eating establishments belonging to Taste of Wales, Blassie Kimru usually a sign of good food, and finally, some beers to try, brains or felfilol. In Northern Ireland, try local cheeses, oysters and Guinness, Irish stew and drisheen, black pudding. Look out for soda bread, balm brack, tea loaf, and potato bread, and finish the evening off with an old Bushmills whiskey. If visiting the Channel Islands, then you'll find plenty of fresh fish, local dairy products and fresh seasonal produce on the menu. Look out for, for, for delicious homegrown produce known as hedge veg, sold by the roadside throughout the islands. Most of all, enjoy your stay. Now thanks for watching and listening. This is Chris Mason from HolidayLoop.com. Holiday Loop offers privately owned villas and self-catering homes for rent, sale and swap. You can subscribe to our channel at YouTube for more videos of me reading from our animated library. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye.